Have you been told that you're not the right fit for the job, even though you meet all of the qualifications for that role? Not to worry, in this video, we will give you five proven tips to help the interviewers see you as the right fit so you can start to get more job offers. So basically, when a company tells you that you aren't the right fit for the job after interviewing, it really means that you were this close to getting that job, but you probably said or did something wrong in one of your interviews. This usually tends to be something very, very tiny that a lot of candidates overlook. So I've put together a list of five things that can disqualify you for a position. And tip number one is to make sure that you're tailoring your background and experience to the role that you are applying for. And the best way to do this is to have either the recruiter or the hiring manager first explain what the role and scope is about before you talk about your background. I've seen this mistake happen all the time where candidates just start talking about themselves and breaking down their resume without knowing the context of the role. Many times I've seen candidates just immediately start talking about themselves and their background and even accidentally eliminating themselves from the running and making them not a good fit because they didn't know what the role and context was about. Let's say you're applying for a manager role where you're going to manage a team of about 10 people and they're going to be in multiple different countries like the United States and Europe and Asia and you jump into the interview and you immediately start talking about how you manage a team of five and your team is all within the same office as you. What you've done is you've kind of shot yourself in the foot and eliminated yourself from the running and you are now not the right fit. But maybe in your previous role, you actually had managed a team of 10 internationally, but you didn't know to talk about it because you didn't ask for the context of the role and the position. And if you want more details on this, make sure you watch our Tell Me About Yourself interview question video that we have up on the channel. I'll link it up here and also down in the description below. And tip number two is for any job that requires client management or customer assignments. Sometimes you can be seen not as the right fit if your client or customer is looking for a specific personality type or working style that you may not have. So make sure you're doing your homework in advance and ask questions to people who work on the team or even the hiring manager about that specific person and client. Ask them what their personality type is. Ask them what their preferred method and style of communication is. Like, does the client prefer people who are straight shooters and really direct or prefer people with more bubbly personalities who will take five to 10 minutes to ask them about their day? These tiny details can actually make a huge difference when it comes to being the right fit. And before we get into tip number three, make sure you click subscribe down below for more free career advice on interviewing, changing careers, and getting your next job. All right, back to the video. All right, so tip number three to being seen as the right fit is to have a well-written resume. A lot of the times the recruiter will take your resume and then give it to the hiring manager and ask them if they want to interview you for the position. So if your resume doesn't talk about your major accomplishments and your scope of work, most of the time the hiring manager will skip your resume and not want to talk to you. And the biggest mistake I've seen here is folks just merely listing their daily responsibilities and duties on their resume. This is not going to be enough to convince a hiring manager to speak to you. And tip number four is not to ask about promotions and levels during your interview. Now, I know these are definitely important things that you're going to want to know about a company and a position before you start. However, asking this to your interviewer during an interview setting is definitely a way to be seen as not the right fit because they're going to be worried that you're going to take this role and quit, leave, or change teams in a very short amount of time. Now, the fifth and final tip here is to make sure that you are short and concise in your interview answers, especially when it comes to tell me about yourself and walk me through your experience. Don't ramble on for more than three minutes and make sure your story is well structured and easy to follow. A lot of the time you'll get rejected for being not the right fit simply by speaking for too long or for having a very confusing interview answer. And there you have five tips to be seen as the perfect fit for a role and you now even know some critical mistakes to avoid. 
Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe for more free career content and we'll see you in the next video.